What's up guys, today I'll be reviewing the silenced pistol in Fallout 4 called Deliverer. I'll discuss the strengths, weaknesses, mod options, key perks, and optimal build suggestions if you choose to use this weapon on the regular. It's a quest reward for when you work for the railroad and it's given to you when you beat the mission called Tradecraft. In terms of the base weapon stats, it starts with a base damage of 25, a fire rate of 66, a range of 119, and an accuracy rating of 61. It fires 10mm ammo, which you're going to find plenty of without the need to invest in any perks that increase the amount of uh, ammo you pick up, a starting magazine size of 12, and a relatively low weight of 4.4 pounds. It comes with a nice special perk as well, and that is improved VAT's hit chance and 25% less, less action point cost. This means that in addition to the accuracy and VAT's being buffed, you use a quarter less action point cost per shot. With that increased accuracy, you're going to see your critical hit meters rise significantly and often, and that's what makes this weapon so special. In terms of strengths, as you can already see, this weapon is a top tier one if you're focusing on a stealthy and sneak build coupled with utilizing pistols and vats. Though, even if you're not using a sneak and vats build, it's still decent against common enemies with low armor even without using vats. It's best utilized in short to medium range against lower armored targets because of the lower caliber ammo, especially if you aren't focusing your build around this weapon. In terms of weaknesses though, as stated earlier, it does struggle against enemies with higher armor and certainly isn't the best option if you're not using, utilizing it in VATS or a sneak option. Then it just basically, uh, sort of the enemy looks and flinches a little bit. You don't really do much damage. If you're looking to specifically buff this weapon through perks, you're going to want to use Gunslinger, Bloody Mess if you want every last percent of damage. You're absolutely going to want to use Sneak plus Ninja for sneak attacks. It, 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 the amount of damage you output is incredible this way. Mr. Sandman for the suppressor added damage. Action Boy so you can stay in vats as long as you want. Critical Banker and critical better criticals. Though of course this is an exclusive list. But with the diverse perk selection you can see this weapon offers high versatility in builds and that's why it's quite popular I've seen so far. In terms of mods, if you've invested in Gunnut and have the materials to do so, or if you visit Tinker Tom in the Railroad Headquarters because he has frequent deliverer uh, mods, I would attach Advanced Receiver, Sharpshooter's Grip, and the Quick Eject or Large Quick Eject Magazine, though it seems quite obvious because this weapon doesn't really have a lot of options in terms of mods, so that one sort of states the obvious, but let's be, let's be definitive here, of course. Overall, I really enjoy using this weapon in my Sneak and Bats builds. It's one of the stronger weapons in the game for it. It's, it's still strong without the Gunslinger perk, as I've played in my first playthrough with Deliverer without much in the Gunslinger perks, and it, it still did adequate. It wasn't my first choice, of course, but make sure you have another weapon on hand if you don't use Bats much or spec into Gunslinger, because tougher enemies will not go down to this weapon. So, other than that, it's a blast. I'd say highly enjoy it. See you later.